what is going on everybody back at it again with another youtube video took a couple days off not really much going on in philly sports I'm gonna have at least two more videos out today this one was kind of on the edge of being made until the news broke and now i gotta post about it david yeager is now the assistant coach of the philadelphia 76ers personally i really like that move you know, he ha he's had some great defensive teams that he has coached, uh, head coaching-wise. He coached those Grizzlies teams, those grit-and-grind Grizzlies teams, with Rudy Gay and Mike Conley and Zach Randolph, Marcus Saul, Tony Allen. And he has made a solid coaching career out of that, I would like to say. I mean, he, his last stint was with the Sacramento Kings in 2018-19. He has been off for a year. Uh... He coached the Kings for three years. He was the assistant coach on the Grizzlies for one, two, three, four, five, six years. And he was the he he was a head coach for six years and assistant coach for six years in the NBA. He's he's had a solid career. 492 wins, 200 or 492 games, 245 wins, 247 losses. So he is two games under 500. Not really like that doesn't really mean much to me mainly because he did coach those really bad Sacramento Kings teams and even then I mean with the teams that he has had in Sacramento he was 39 and 43 two years ago when he was the head coach uh his first year he was 32 and 50 and then his second year was 27 and 55 but the third year he was 39 and 43 he also had two 50 win seasons 50 and 32 in 2013 14 and 55 and 27 in 2014 15. He was the uh, he's only been a Western Conference coach of the month three times January 2014, April 2014, and November 2014. But basically, this is going to be a relatively short video. So if you are new to the channel, Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like. If you like Philadelphia sports, if you like sports in general, this is a good place to be. I post 10, 10 minutes somewhere around there on most of my videos. This one's going to be shorter. But if you are new and you like the Phillies, the Eagles, the Sixers, the Flyers, and even the Philadelphia Union, or if you just like to have that fun rivalry based, you know, trash talking back and forth, then this is the page for you. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's try to hit 840 by the end of the night. And, you know, if you are new and you hit that subscribe, I do appreciate it. Dave Yeager brings a lot of defense. He brings a lot of defensive presence as he had Marcus All, who was... A defensive player of the year under him. Tony Allen was a very good defensive player. Mike Conley, pretty solid defensively. Zach Randolph, you see the resemblance with all these players. They're grit and grind. As I said, with the Memphis Grizzlies, they were a very grit and grind team. They made it to the Western Conference Finals, I want to say once, and then they got killed by the Spurs. But it was the Spurs, so can you really say much? Um, they beat the Thunder. They were a very hard team for the Thunder to play. In those years with Kevin Durant and Westbrook, the Grizzlies and the Spurs were the were the two teams that the Thunder really had trouble going up against, and they had guys like Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, guys that could put the ball in the basket. They had a prime Serge Ibaka. They had, you know, Kevin Martin. They had solid guys on that team. But, you know, the guy knows how to play some defense, and now you have Ben Simmons. The, these two coaches... And I know it is just an assistant coach, but you saw how how well the assistant coach was with Ben and Joel last season. He They really went to him more than they went to Brett. And that was, you know, mainly because Brett Brown kind of lost all the faith and the trust in the players. But with Dave Yeager, he's going to, him and Doc Rivers are going to bring out the best defensive and just overall player in Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. I truly do think that. And I think Doc Rivers helps out uh, Tobias Harris if we decide to keep him. But 
you know, there's still some things to be done here. And, you know, we have the draft uh, soon, I would like, I think it's soon. I, I'm not really too sure about that. But we need things. We need a bench. We need to move Horford. We need to move, we need to make some cap space. If you can get a solid eight guys, and I do think that you need to re-sign Alec Burks. I definitely think you need to do that. I'm trying to think what's coming up on Friday. It might be like free agency or something on Friday for the for the NBA, which is or the 18th. So when's that? Monday, Sunday, something like that. But you know, you, you got to look at it this way. You got to get some guys and you got to move Horford. If you move Horford, you can definitely make something happen. I don't know how they're going to move him, but they have to do it. And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave off on this video because Al Horford just doesn't fit with this system. I think you can trade him to a team like the Kings who were in the running to get him. They don't really utilize Buddy Heald as much as other teams would. And he has expressed a lot of interest in coming to the Sixers and not wanting to play for the Sacramento Kings. Does that mean Buddy Heald can be a Sixer? this offseason? I don't know, but we will definitely have to wait and see. A lot more Sixers videos to come in the near future, but for today, David Yeager is now the assistant coach. He gets put on that Doc Rivers coaching staff, and I do like this move. He's a very good defensive coach, as I've been saying. Coached a couple good Grizzlies teams, and that's really it. A lot more Sixers content to come. Again, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and a comment down below if you like this move by the Sixers. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.